Hi all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgie Evans. I'm going to be reporting on Salvatore Ferragamo Spring Summer 20, one of the heavy hitters on the Milan schedule, um, partly because of the celebrity crowd, partly because of the history behind the brand, um, and rather exciting because it's back in Milan this season. And the menswear, the first for Paul Andrew, was shown in Florence in Pitti Uomo, and it was a really, really fantastic show. Hugely dramatic at the Fountain of Neptune, fantastic, fantastic clothes. Um, and that kind of vein of um, kind of Florentine holiday was really um, carried through in this collection, I felt. It very much felt like a glamorous holiday to the Med um, in some of these clothes. So it was just a real energy and optimism to this entire Spring Summer 20 collection. So we're all sat at 9.30 in the morning around the most beautiful um, area. It's called the Rotonda della Bassana. It's a beautiful, beautiful building um, and if we previous seasons we've been sat inside and we were sat on the outside um, this time. Beautiful dappled sunlight, amazing music playing, these huge fronds kind of swaying in the wind. It was unbelievably picturesque. Um, and so as the models come out, uh, we start seeing a few block coloured looks, which is something that's happened quite a lot in Spring Summer 20 actually overall. Um, and of course leatherwork. Leatherwork is something that Ferragamo do exceptionally well, potentially because they started as a footwear brand and have been dealing with leather for a very, very long time. Um, but I always look forward to seeing the really buttery leathers that come through in Ferragamo. So the first look was no different. Um, all white look um, and belted waist with a slight puffball. And it's really interesting to see puffball in leather. I really like the way it folds and brings in a kind of new element. And actually that's something that Paul Andrews done really well at Ferragamo is have these beautiful buttery leathers take on interesting shapes. So there's often a drawstring hoodie or a um, kind of open cuff that looks a little bit stiff from the leather, but then it's buttery all the way up the arm. And um, that's something that's always really successful. This collection for me, I think, was a little bit um, of an up and down um, for the Ferragamo customer, because when I think about previous Paul Andrew Ferragamo collections, I think younger and more modern and kind of trying to tap into a different customer base and certainly that's reflective in who they invite to the show celebrity wise there's Cole Sprouse um, and Sinead Woodley and um, lots of kind of faces that you affiliate with a slightly younger market however some of the styling in this collection felt slightly more conservative Ferragamo slightly harking to um, perhaps the old school Ferragamo customer or the indeed the actual Ferragamo customer so for example um, socks with shoes it's definitely got that kind of youthful pep to it, but I think they overdid that use quite a lot throughout the collection. So trousers were then finished with a sock and a shoe, um, a little kind of ballet pump almost. Um, and I just felt like that was overdoing it because when it's done with shorts and skirts earlier on, it has that youthful freshness to it and it's fun and it's something we see street styled and straight up quite a lot, but actually um, carried through too much. It was just a bit too much of a rinse and repeat. Likewise, a slightly modern version that they'd done with a leather sock um, and a beautiful strap shoe was really really beautiful and that strap shoe on its own as well really stunning and I like the separation of the two but when they carried that through and in such a dark tone um, it felt a little dated and perhaps um, perhaps styled in a way that a slightly older customer would wear it but much less desirable for kind of my age bracket so I felt like it was a little bit of an odds. So likewise, some really beautiful dresses and long flowing knitted two pieces and pants with stripes, which is definitely appealing to a slightly younger customer. But then flip reverse that and you've got kind of long flowing, almost like moo moo level dresses, which again appeals to the older customer. So on one hand, it's really smart to have this duality because you're trying to tap into different um, elements of customer bases. But on the other hand, it felt a little bit disjointed. I'm gonna cough, I'm very sorry. <coughs> <coughs> tickly throat. So a little bit disjointed. Um, some of the clothes were really, really beautiful. I love the drawstring waist and the drawstring around the ankle and having a strap around um, the shoe there I think is really successful. The whole idea of drawstring in itself adds a kind of slight utility to the garments and makes it feel a little bit younger and fresher. Um, so that was really good. And particularly in pastel blues and buttery leathers. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> love that really really love the buttery leather and the drawstring. <laughs> Counteracting again, a little bit of a potato potato situation here. Um, some of the um, block colours and the menswear felt a little bit um, out of sync again. However saying that, beautiful beautiful hats on the menswear, they were kind of baseball caps that then went back into a scarf which I believe was leather and tied at the back of the neck and that for women's wear as well I think was so elegant and it kind of ties back into 
this beautiful holiday on the Mediterranean that you can just envisage with these wonderful colours and the cobalt blues that they had in the women's wear as well with that wonderful scarf. Magical. So some elements when I was looking at the footwear styling and some of the styling up top felt a little dated and not quite um, in keeping with what I really truly think that Paul Andrews is trying to do with Ferragamo. However, saying that, some absolutely beautiful, intoxicatingly wonderful garments. Um, I really loved that the Fountain of Neptune prints that we've seen for the menswear was coming back, the kind of dancing bodies um, on the shirts as well. The music was fantastic, the casting was really, really brilliant. And I should definitely shout out the jewellery. It was almost this Murano glass jewellery and backstage you could kind of see on the mood board some beautiful um, kind of milky, milky glass um, jugs and the colours that Andrew had been using and colours are something that Ferragamo really really does well that cobalt blues and the rich browns and the wonderful even the greys kind of have this vivality to them is that a word vivality vivacity vivacity um, so there's so much that was really coming alive here but I do think some of the styling elements um, might have let the collection down ever so slightly um, but I guess you know rinse and rinse and um, so overall a really really beautiful collection but um, with a few little um, tropes that could have done with tweaking and kind of updating I think but then I suppose if you are trying to tailor to a Ferragamo customer um, you need something that um, everyone can look at and feel like they can take away with them so a bit of a swings and roundabouts let me know in the comments if you agree if you disagree did you like the collection what would you get if you did like the collection um, and like, comment, subscribe if you're watching through YouTube. Make sure to go to your studio um, so you can see this review alongside the collection and make your own judgment. Um, we'll speak very soon. Bye.